Do you want to make a month's worth of viral YouTube shorts in less time than it takes to make lunch? Then pay attention to this. To gain views and traction on your YouTube shorts, you need a video idea that's guaranteed to work and easily repeatable. So let's see what's already working on your channel. So let's take a look at the videos that you've already posted. Now my top performing video is about how to add music to YouTube shorts. Judging this video on views, watch time, impressions, and click-through rate, it's obviously something my audience is already interested in. Now knowing this, I'm going to take this YouTube video as my starting point, and I'm going to let AI convert this video into several shorts in minutes. So if you're like me and you work in social or let's say you make video podcasts or training videos, this tool is a lifesaver. Let me show you how it works. So Veed's AI analyzes any long form video. It's going to find the sections that are most likely to go viral and it's going to create vertical clips automatically. It even adds animated subtitles, a suggested caption for posting and a scorecard for each clip. Now on Veed's dashboard here, you're going to see create clips, select that. You can now paste in the URL of your YouTube video or if you've got your long form video on your desktop already, you can upload it from there. Now, while it uploads, we can choose our settings, starting with language. So you're going to choose the same language as the one that you're speaking in during the video itself. I'm going to select English UK. You can choose English US if you prefer. The only difference is going to be the spelling in your subtitles. So you know how in the UK we spell color with a U and in the US they don't, that kind of thing. Next, we're going to make sure that we've selected portrait for our vertical YouTube shorts. And then under that, we've got subtitle styles. So you can just scroll along here and you can choose the one that you like best. Now, if you're not vibing with any of these styles, don't worry, we can change them later on in the video. Now we've got video goals and we're going to choose viral shorts because, well, that's our aim. Lastly here, you can select how long you'd like your shorts to be. And if you don't have any preference, just select auto. Now you can click continue. And in just a moment here, you're going to see a list of videos that the AI chose from watching the video for you and pulling out those most viral pieces of content. So here we are. We've got multiple YouTube shorts now complete with subtitles, a suggested caption, a transcript of each clip and even a scorecard here to give you an idea of how each video will perform on your YouTube channel. So if you like the videos as the AI has delivered them, then great, you can export them. But if you want to customize your shorts and you want to take it up a notch by tweaking the edits, then keep watching. So we're going to choose the very first video here. We're going to select edit and that's going to bring us over to Veed's editor. Now, do you remember how earlier on I mentioned that if you weren't 100% sold on the subtitle style, you can change it. Here's how. Click subtitle in the left toolbar and now I can change everything from the font, the size, the color, the outline, the shadow, the animation, and even the positioning of them. Now I also want to give my YouTube short here a title to grab attention. So you could use the suggested title that Veed gives you for each clip, but I'm actually going to save that as my YouTube short title when it comes time to post it. So instead here, I want to put something thought provoking that's going to stop my viewers from scrolling past my short. Now, because this is already a fully edited YouTube video that's been cut up into shorts, I don't actually need background music because it's already on the video. But let's say that you're doing this on a podcast clip. You can easily add copyright free music to give your short a more ambient feel. You won't get a copyright strike because all the audio that you need is royalty free right on Veed. Now let's take a look at the final result. However, this method is limiting as you can only choose music that YouTube has built into its library. And that is most likely going to result in a copyright claim on your short. Now that you can monetize shorts once you hit the criteria, you're going to want to ensure that you avoid any copyright claims going forward. All right, I think that's a pretty good short. So all you have to do for this method is just repeat this for all your top performing videos and you've got yourself a backlog of content that's going to last you weeks. Now, one final tip here before we wrap up. When you go to upload your YouTube short, do you remember the title that was given to each video? You can use that as your video title to save you time coming up with a new one for every single video. It's just super efficient not having to think of it over and over again. So that's it. That is how to make viral YouTube shorts fast with AI. I really hope you find this video helpful, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.